A new temperature screening device powered by AI could reduce the time and manpower needed to detect those who are running a fever. The device, developed by Integrated Health Information Systems and local startup Kronicare, is being piloted. And it comes after reports of long queues at screening stations. Deborah Wong tells us more. It's the lunchtime peak hour. But instead of having to wait for the temperatures to be taken manually alongside visitors, staff at this office can walk straight in. Under the watchful eye of this real-time screening device, called iThermo, it uses thermal cameras, 3D laser cameras and an artificial intelligence app to measure their forehead temperature within a 3-meter range and works even if they're wearing headgear. If anyone has a temperature of 37.3 degrees Celsius and above, this happens. I think one of the greatest challenges uh, facing many businesses right now uh, is to perform large-scale temperature screening uh, at speed. The app will actually alert you of who are the few people in that thousand people who may need to scan. So as you can imagine, uh, the time reduces significantly. This also means fewer staff could be needed at screening stations. The device is lighter and less bulky than the thermal scanners typically found at airports. And at $1,000 a month to rent, IHIS says it's at least 10 times cheaper too. It's actually adapted from a wound scanner designed by local startup Chronicare. We repurposed it very quickly because of the current situation into a mass screening device. So to go through that, we had to understand the different um, sensor outputs and its uh, behavior on taking human temperature at different uh, ranges. In the one to two days since the device was piloted at IHIS and St. Andrew's Community Hospital, the device has detected at least five people running a temperature. Of these, two were eventually turned away after further checks. A lot of um, our patients are largely the elderly, so with this um, uh, fear of NCOV and all that, so uh, if visitors are screened, then that in itself actually will uh, give us the assurance that um, visitors are well before they visit our patients. There is lesser need for that closer contact even to take an individual temperature. The device is still being refined, but the team expects to produce 200 units by next month to meet demand from retail centres and healthcare facilities.